All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 1074. Well, I was at my school district, right? So, so there's no way I'm going to do that super huge long walk today because I know I'm going to die going up the hill. No, I'm kidding. I just don't have that much time. I just want to be able to walk around because I know that once I start driving home, then when I get home, it's going to be dark. So, you know, today was a great day. I was able to go out with my boss. You know, tomorrow is the last day of school and then, you know. But anyways, yeah, I brought up those, those, uh, the, uh, thing, the, uh, the posters. And he was so happy. He was like, oh my gosh. And then so we had to work out my schedule. So a lot of the things was making sense. I mean, it's like once you go, once you know, do the whole planning and stuff, you figure things out. And then so, yeah, I'm going to have a pretty insane schedule. I'm going to be online from 8 in the morning till 6, okay? But thing is, that's not a fair thing to ask any teacher to do. Go, what, are you Superman 8 to 6 every day? It's like, okay, just so you know, there's only one teacher at my school. It's me, right? But once we get a certain amount of kids, we get another teacher. And another certain amount of kids, we get another teacher, okay? So, but thing is... For me to work really hard so we could get to that level, as we get more teachers, they learn to split that. So it's like we could be working it in shifts. So the harder I work now, the easier it'll get later. And then you get some people that like they would be along with the program trying to figure it out. Cause it's like, you know, I don't wanna work with other lazy teachers, you know? It's like my boss, he's awesome. Okay, and then I work pretty hard. So for us to bust our butts, so someone comes in and like skates, no, they have to work really hard too. And then so, you know, I don't know how they're gonna do all the questioning and stuff, but it's a, uh, we'll see. But I mean, for right now, there is no other teachers because I have to work hard. So I've been recruiting I've been, you know, a lot of my other kids from other districts, they're saying like, oh, Shin, we miss you. Like, hey, if you miss me that much, guess what? You can go to my school now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's odd. All right, so another reason why I had to go exercise right now is I had a really amazing hamburger today. So, um, I usually don't like making the videos when I go someplace, take it, and then come back and eat it and then see, right? I'd rather take the video on when we're actually there. Like today, so Reggie, I think you know this place, it's called Apollo Burger. So when I got that thing, I go, okay, I'm looking at the sign says voted the best hamburger and whatever I have no idea right but anyways you have a sign so it must be pretty good I go okay which burger did you win for this is my first time oh well you know whatever narcissist burger okay that's what I want I want to be a narcissist what kind of burger is it I said, oh yeah, it's uh, uh, what was it? Oh my gosh, okay, look at this. Do you see this background? Now look at this. See this background? Wow. See this upstairs right there? That's where, fascinating. So it's a double cheeseburger, a bacon double cheeseburger. And was there a lot of bacon? Yes. Was there a lot of meat? Yes. But what did I get? Medium rare. See, I didn't want to get a rare hamburger, even though I love my prime rib rare. But a hamburger being rare, I have no idea if that's a good idea. A medium rare wasn't too bad, you know? So I should have stressed. My legs are straining. I'm going uphill. 
Uh, but I'll be okay. Because when I get in this car, I gotta turn the heater on full blast. Just go for it. So anyways, I was able to hang out with my boss, eat a good meal. Merry Christmas, right? And then so, you know, I realized this after this whole quarantine stuff. It's like, you know, talk about dieting and losing weight. Okay, when I'm by myself, yes. But when I hang out with other people, oh, uh, diet's off. Who cares? Just, 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 you know, it's all about just enjoying yourself at that point, right? And then so it's like, huh? I mean, it's like, now that we don't have, now that we don't have that many times that we could go hang out, I mean, unless you're married or have kids or something, you know? And then, so, if you have friends, I'm kidding, I have friends. But it's like, you know, you have to take advantage of those times when you're going to go uh, hang out and just eat, drink, be merry. You know? So, if you could enjoy a really nice hamburger together, it's great. So, it's not my new rule. I think it's just, I always knew that I always wanted to enjoy you know, something sounds good, I'm going to eat it. Something that, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't, I want to live to enjoy life. I don't want to sit there and like, oh man, you know, these stats, these stats, the news tells me this. Like, you know what? I mean, granted, I can't go crazy and gain a lot of weight. Otherwise, yes, that's guaranteed. That's that's death certificate. Just like, all right, Shin, keep eating those half-pound burgers. Actually, that might have been a pound of meat, that one. I think so. Okay, so is it good to eat that every day and wash it down with the Coke? No. What is this? Oh, I thought it was a chair. It's not like my Herman Miller chair. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's why it's like, you know what? got to enjoy life. Enjoy. Life's too short. You know, like the, the rapper in Oakland. Life is too short. Short. Okay. But anyway, so I know some people are like, how's he know too short? How do you even get that reference? Right? Did he grow up listening to MC Hammer at UC Davis? <laughs> <laughs> the Oak Town Pussies. So anyways, yes. That's what it is. I just gotta just enjoy. So I think now that I have this whole clear mind about everything and just like my cortisol levels low and it just feels good. And some people think like, oh, you're faking your happiness. Fake your happiness. It's like, no, dude, you don't fake a smile like this. Well, There. All right, there you go. Day 1074 in the books. So, you know what? I kind of like this hoodie uh, mask look. Makes me look kind of thuggish, but it also, I don't know, makes me look smaller. I don't know, it's like sitting in my chair. That thing, it's like I'm a little kid sitting on the chair. So, um, yeah. I have nothing really profound to say today, except that, you know, I'm pretty happy and, and it's just, uh, you know, I'm not looking forward to this drive home, but then tomorrow I'm going to wash this car because look how dirty this is, right? Actually, you know, I want you to see how really dirty this is right here. Look how dirty this is right here. This is like super dirty. So not unedited, right? So, but you know what? It's a good thing I didn't go get my car detailed because look at that. That looks like it's going to rain. And then I'm screwed. So anyway, some sometime I'll get this car washed and get all this crap off my car. Okay? But in the meantime, I'll say Big Daddy shit. Day 1074. If I could exercise 1074 days in a row, you could exercise 1074 days in a row. If I could do it, you could do it. So I'm doing it. Enjoying 
That's what it is. Just enjoy. Simple just term, enjoy. I don't even care what. Just be happy. Enjoy it. Well, okay, I care what. Don't do anything bad. But, I don't know. Some people get off on that too. Just realize what you have around you that you're living. And, uh, well, I don't know. But whatever it is, enjoy.